guess what time of year it is. Go ahead. Just guess. Go ahead. Guess. <laughs> it's Christmas. I dropped it. Christmas. It's Christmas. Christmas. Candle. Candle camera's falling down again. Oh, goodness. It's Christmas again. It's, it's that time of year. Of Christmas. And yes, I do have a TARDIS bed. People ask me if I'm obsessed with Doctor Who, and I'm like, not at all. What are you talking about? So, like, I have a little Dalek and a little TARDIS and River Song and two Doctor Who books and a Van Gogh book and an awesome Doctor Who blanket and stuff. It's not like that at all. Anyway, I should probably start talking about what I'm gonna do in the- Oh, I also have a Vortex Manipulator and three other sonic screwdrivers on a Doctor Who cup that you've seen in other videos. I'm not obsessed with Doctor Who at all. It was in fact at this moment she knew she had a problem. Looking back in her life, she didn't realize it, but well then she just ignored it, so it looks like the problem disappeared. So today, guys, I'm going to be talking how to survive Christmas. Um, basically, Christmas is a fun year of no stress and no midterms at all. <laughs> I'm not procrastinating doing my studying right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Do you like my pin? I'd like this in, please. Like my pin? It's to support my hamster that recently died. Anyway. How to survive Christmas. <laughs> Number one, um, when you're under the mistletoe, you might not know it's there. For me, it's in the dividing where my kitchen and living room is, so it's right there, and you can't escape. So, like, say you're standing there, and you're just like, hmm, well, and then you see a person standing next to you, and then you look up, and you're like, oh no, 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 no. First thing you do, if it's a family member, and not cousin, maybe an older uncle or parent. I'm just like, oh, okay. Uh, it's, it's peck on the cheek, I don't know. But if it's a creepy guy and a stranger, me. run away. Run away, far away, and never go there again. Step two, when you get a present you don't really want. Anyway, you see presents, all the presents, all around the tree, and then you see this one, and you're like, ooh, I wonder what this is, and you open it, and you're like, oh, I didn't really want this. I'm never really like this, because I normally get what I want, because I'm a spoiled brat. Say, say stuff like, oh, th good way, oh, thank you, I, I can use this sometime in my life, and if you don't like it, say that, but if, if, the other way that's bad, it's like, what, do you even know me? Why'd you buy me this? Uh, step three, going over your awkward family members' houses. Just remember to be polite and ex and try and answer as many questions as you can, even if it, it involves jobs and what you think you're going to do for college and everything that puts you in an existential crisis and you don't know the answers to yet. yet. <clears throat> that went deep. Uh... Wes, and to try to answer all their questions as they're asking you. And if you also another acceptable answer is, I don't know yet, Grandpa. I'm still thinking. And then they keep asking you and forget what you asked. <laughs> uh, step four: buying your friends gifts. Try not to accidentally tell them when you find out you actually have friends. Yeah, normally I just get my one friend a one gift and get my sister the one gift. And then this year I got more friends and I realized, crap, I need to buy gifts for everyone. I don't need to, but I want to. Because I'm a person that likes to buy gifts. So yeah, buy them something that you probably said, oh, I could get you that for Christmas. And then forget about it immediately. But what you can do is have a list. I have a little list of like, this person, get this thing, get this thing of this thing. Try and find out what fandoms they like and stuff. Also, another thing. The Christmas tree. Try not to die under it when you go water it. Especially with all the little ornaments underneath. Yeah, almost got murdered once. A little heart-shaped one almost fell on my head. I didn't tell anyone. I don't want to worry. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> Christmas is coming and I'm scared. But if you have Santa hat like this, all you can do is this. Woo! Oh man. <laughs> no, the greasy hair must hide. <laughs> uh, try to find out what fandoms they like. Normally, if it's like Harry Potter, try and buy something from their house. And if they haven't take the Harry Potter quiz, urge them to take it quick so you know what to buy them. Grr, I'm intimidating. Uh, but if they're like, say, Harry Potter already said that, uh, Percy Jackson, try to get them a Camp Half-Blood shirt or a Camp Jupiter shirt. I have both. Mm. Yeah, and if Sherlock fandom, I don't know, buy them. I'm not in that fandom, so I don't know what to say. This is Sherlock fandom, I have no idea. Um, Doctor Who, buy them a TARDIS, buy them a companion little thing, because I have River up there, you can't see it. I'm not going to take it down, because that's going to take a lot of more editing. Uh, Legos, buy them Legos. I like Legos, I love Legos. Legos are fun! It helps with my dyslexia, because like the feeling thing. Anyway, but yeah, Christmas is coming, and the geese are getting fat. Please put the penny in the old man's if you haven't got a penny. A hey penny will do if you got a, I got a hey penny, then God bless you. Please tell me someone else learned that song besides me. I'm so alone. Uh, so yeah, I think that might be it um, for this video. I, I know it was much, but I'm trying to do some new things. Um, also, I have a web hat page. My name is Tina Seeker 55 I'm re I'm writing a story. I posted it on Instagram. You might have not seen it. I'll link, link my Instagram down below too. Um, it's the Traveler Stories. It's a Doctor Who fan fiction. I put myself in it because, you know, that's always fun. So I put myself in it and I'm like a Time Lord kind of thing. And hey, I like Doctor Who and I've had this idea stuck in my head for years. Um, so I decided to write it down one day, and I was like, hey, this could be a good Webpad story, and I've done three chapters so far. I did write other stories on there, but they're not really as good. So yeah, I'll leave my Webpad page down in the description below. Um, uh, that's about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you want to see more. I already said that. Oh well. Um, you know, it helps me. I'm thinking about making this into a money thing. You know, so I can get paid. Eh, maybe not. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! We're gonna do the advent calendar real quick. So, your number nine. <laughs> Things are in my way. What'd you get? Oh, you got a little guy. Really big bag for a really little guy. <laughs> He's claustrophobic. Leave him be. You just tear it off the side, I think. Alright. His head's rolling away. Uh, put that there. Fantastic. That I'm there. Oh, he's got a beard. Maybe it's Rex. No, I, that's not how it works. You gotta put it on the thing. Ah, do I have I, to put it on his head first? Uh, you don't have to. You can put this on and then put it on his head. But if it helps you work better. No, there we go. We don't need two masks. That's the extra I worked one. with many knights in my days. <laughs> and then it will be my turn. And then Bella will be your turn. So there we go. Mr. Mian. Hello. Oh, it's not focused. That's fantastic. Okay, my turn on number 10. Can you hold this? Thank you. If I get another person, I'm going to be very upset. Be very close. Ooh, I got a ship. It's Percival. Got it. So basically with this, you just have to copy what's on the picture. They don't come with like instructions.
We're watch re watching a Christmas story. Don't record too much, it might be copyright. Yeah, don't get Bella on camera, she doesn't want to be on camera. What is You're out of focus. No, never mind, you're in focus. Focus on me. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. What's this piece? Oh, I, okay. You like, do this. Okay, yeah, I understand now. Am I making like an updated version of Boba Fett? Oh. I'll shoot your eye out. You'll shoot your eye out. Oh, ho, oh, ho. I got like a spaceship. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. This took longer than I thought. Sure did. But I only got a person, so that's why mine was so quick. Yeah. Why did I get like binoculars? Where's the binoculars going? Oh, they're all gone right there. Keeps going off. Well, Everyone's gonna I'm know. Busy being a cinematographer. <laughs> it's George Lucas calling you to film his next film. Oh, it's a Star Destroyer! <laughs> it's either Star Destroyer, it might be one of the ships from the Clone Wars, the cartoon. Yeah. It might be like the precursor to the to them. But is it in focus even? I'm gonna put you right here for right now. Bella, do you wanna do yours? I won't film you. I'll like film the. We can do the Christmas tree and then I'll, I'll film like the Christmas tree part while you build yours. You're 11. 11? Yes. Yeah, daddy was 9 and um, I was 10. Because we, we like skipped three days. Yeah, I put my name on it because I'm cheesy. <laughs> Is that going to be enough for you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I put a sandwich, a Pop-Tart for if I feel like having a sugary treat, some bread, and then I have those chips. Sugary treat might not. Oh, focus on me. This is going to be a little bit of a bonus. What'd you get? Do you want to move? Hold on. It looks like a spaceship. Oh, I think it's an X-Wing. Oh, that, that's cool. Um, sorry, trying now. Daddy, do you want to do the Christmas tree? Sorry, did I blind you with the light? Really, really hard. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. This is our Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. I'm doing 11. Uh, you're doing nine. nine. Remember we nine, and you got a you got a bow. I don't even know if that's a shot. Hold on, it's out of focus. There we go. You got a bow. What am I gonna get? Ah. Get it on the thing! I can't, it's not there. Your turn? Yeah. Can I get number 10? I got Santa Claus. There you go, that was much easier. Nice. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. Recording my feet, because Bella doesn't want to be in shot. We got our Christmas tree! Yay. My ornament this year was a TARDIS. Bella, where's your ornament? Where's your ornament? It's really small. Somewhere? Somewhere. If I can't find out, I'll have to, like, describe it. Well, this gives like a good like view for everyone to see like all the ornaments. Ooh, what's this? Do you know? Brandy. Every time he says that, I'm always like, Brandy, isn't that Brandy? <laughs> Maybe that's his real name. 
I look at Snarnia. Do you need this one, sweetie? Oh, no, you can turn that off. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to turn this off until Bella's done building the thing, and then I'm going to show her ornament on the tree. So, yeah. Bella built a little spaceship. <laughs> now, put you there for right now. And, gotta turn this on. Um, and um, Bella wanted me to do this for her, and I'm doing it for her right now. Um, she got the Christmas wreath. Yay! Now, recap I got the Santa Claus, and Father got the bow. So, yeah, so I hope that you all will have a very Merry Christmas and you get most of the gifts that you want. Bye! Gotta press the off button. Dun dun dun. <laughs> God, I look like I look like a pervert. Okay, I'm done.